Welcome to Grab Life by the Horns. Powered by Legacy Builders Global. And we are Jennifer Pekan and Jan Mark Pekan. Hello and welcome to our today's episode. Our topic for today is the five minute rule. And this is a rule um, what I um, read about, or I think I read about it in a book. And um, or I heard about it on TikTok. It can be that it was uh, learned with TikTok or whatever. Um, and this rule says that um, if you are mad or like has a bad emotions with something, um, that you take uh, for yourself five minutes to have these emotions, and after five minutes, you cut it down. And we want to talk about this today. How important it is because like bad emotions and if you are angry and if you are in this situation you are blocked it can really like hold you back from doing great things in your business on this day and um, I w I'm switching to your mark directly because I know that um, sometimes when things goes really bad like we, we both are really working on the things but um, It's, and it's difficult for both of us. But um, I know that you really remind yourself on this five-minute rule, uh, rule um, like more with more awareness that I would do. So uh, what do you <laughs> think about it? Yeah, um, but basically, there, it, it, it's like if it doesn't matter in five years, you shouldn't spend more than five minutes um, being upset about it. And um, it's, it's hard. Uh, for me, it's hard. I, I mean, it's not it's not that that easy thing. Okay, it's like even though we're de devoting a lot of time to um, to our mindset, to reading books, to having coaching on it, um, to to listen to sometimes only to fellow entrepreneurs and have discussions about things like that and how we manage with it. But it's if. If you get, uh, at least for me, it's like that. If, if you get something um, that is not, let's say it politically correct, not good, can be bad, doesn't have to be really bad. It just can be something that bugs you if you get that. Um, and then sometimes you keep thinking about it and keep thinking about it and sometimes also keep uh, putting yourself down on it. And it's really... it. it The issue is the time you're losing on it and the energy you're losing on it does not come back. Yes, energy comes back like if you get up at the next morning, yes, you wake up with a full tank of energy if you wake up. And sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. If you have a really bad night, then not. But um, the, is the, if, you, if you have, um, like, like for example, uh, today uh, is like, is the day, the day was pretty good and then we uh, Jennifer forwarded me a whatsapp and that upset me um, so it, it's like sorry yeah no it's it's not your fault um, so it's like because I'm 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 behind on some things and that's catching up and this is like I I know it I'm trying to manage it um, and it's like but it's bad um, and it's like if If you get that, then you have to recenter your mind basically and say like, okay, it's like, I'm gonna take care of that. It's gonna be tomorrow and I'm gonna plan the time and that's about it. And then you have to shift your mind to something else, right? Because otherwise you are, you are in this bad state of mind where um, your mind always circles around that topic, which you can't really do anything right now about. Um, and it doesn't matter, like it's not a matter of life and death in the next two hours or even overnight. So why like get the whole night, the whole evening, everything ruined, be in this bad mindset, constantly thinking about the one thing. And um, so this is, it's again, it's not, it's not easy. Okay. It's something I'm trying really to work on since like at least a year since I'm aware of, of that. Before I wasn't probably even aware. Um, and I just, what you would call a bad day is basically caused 
<laughs> by something you shouldn't waste more than five minutes on, right? If you, for example, if you have, um, if somebody steals your parking spot, okay, classic example, or um, somebody is in, in front of you at um, the traffic light and then the light turns green, the person is on the phone or distracted or whatever, and, and then you honk and the person basically gets the hand up and says sorry and thank you and drives over the yellow light and you are stuck for another red light. I mean, we all know that and we all like, this is like, <clears throat> this is the moment <laughs> you would like to get out of the car and just tear everything apart, turn around and like, so, but for some people they will be mad and I was one of them, they will be mad a very long time and it will drag into the day and they will have a bad mood in meetings and so on because they are like, man, this, like, this just doesn't, this wasn't right and why and I came too late to the meeting because of that person. But you didn't really came too late to the meeting because of that person, you could have left earlier. Um, but it's like all of the things then they, they build up and they build up so much anger and so much frustration um, and the other person um, or like the other side m maybe um, because sometimes it's like it's not a, a person in particular maybe they had no other choice maybe they're just following their rules their standards they most likely will not have not the intention to drive you mad. Very few people have the intention to drive you mad. And so why bother? Yeah, and as well, like uh, all the things like, uh, well, partly they are, or partially they, uh, they are um, fit on, on my situation as well. Um, I'm, um, I'm stuck more in the, in the deep emotions uh, sometimes or from time to time when I have the, um, when I know like, what happened in the past, and um, if if you can feel the consequences still in in um, in the now or in the and you know it will come up in the future again, so this is some things uh, where I a little bit frustrated uh, to be honest. But on the other side, you can't change the past. Like, and this is something you really have to t uh, say yourself every time you can't change the past what happened and happened or like for example if you send out an email which you made a mistake um, for with the naming or like you for forgot the attachment or like um, what happens I think at least to almost every entrepreneur once that you send out emails to people they don't should get it or like you send it to your whole email list and you did not put the blind copy when before it came uh, if you don't have a CRM program and cannot send a broadcasting um, and uh, like your clients have all of your emails which you have in your database like um, that can happen and is it fun no it's not it's shh. yeah it is but um, it's what <laughs> no <laughs> and um, you just like um, you know you don't do it by purpose and sometimes like if you work a lot this kind of things can happen and it will not change if you are really mad with yourself and go up and down and think all the bad things that can happen and um, or if um, if this like if it happens with this email for example if there is a lawyer they um, uh, they try to um, threaten you with a lawsuit or whatever like you know most of the people would not do it like just move on and don't think about it and um, this is <laughs> yeah this yeah, is, yeah, no, this is right. what what the experience showed us as well in the last of course we, we made uh, we made the same th we had the same thoughts and we were worried about all the things what happened but at the end bottom line you know um, what helps me is first of all to to let me know and i say this to myself all the time you cannot change the past you can ch you can change the future so what i have to change um for me or for the process uh, that this will not happen in future again so at least i can say well you know what it was not good sorry for that um i already made um the con i already took the consequences and made a change in the process or made a change like whatever change it will be um, and that is the first thing what happened and then there's always the mistake you did if we want to talk about a mistake 
or if the situation was not really lucky, let's say like this, and you're really mad about the situation, there is always something you can learn about it. So what helped me is um, this um, this tool, if you want to, uh, to call it like this, like five things, what is positive out of this bad situation for you? Like, first of all, like it, maybe you feel bad, but what is positive in the situation? What uh, was helping you in the situation? And if you uh, ask you this five times, like we have the situation as well, like ask you five times why and you will find the really like the true reason, like go deep and really ask you like five times why it was good for and um, what did you learn about that? And then it's it's not really, so <laughs> like why are you laughing? It's yeah, not really, uh, it's not really that bad anymore. And uh, this helped me. It, it's a it's an exercise, and um, it was um, I got this recommendation, and I did it. And um, I remind sometimes in Mark as well when he is like because that's why it, I'm laughing. If he is really mad, uh, like you can see it like one kilometer against everything, and um, this can ruin the whole atmosphere in the room if he is uh, there because you can see it already in his face. And um, I don't want to have this in the, like when we have family time, I don't want to have the, the bad things on the table um, when Felix is around. So um, we have this rule, we made up this rule. So uh, he has to be uh, get back on track as fast as possible. So he has five minutes to come down. And then when he's going back in the room, he has to be not happy, but, um, you know, like at least take this, yeah, take this behind. And um, because if you are working, things happen, you don't want to happen that, that they happen. This is like... It's life. It's, it's life and uh, you cannot change it. And the more you're working on that, the easier it is. And I have as well my, you know, my things and um, my destructions, if you want to say it like this, um, that come up from time to time. And I have some trigger points as well. And um, if they get hit, you know, I have to remind myself of my, my own rules. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes Jan Mark is helping me with that. And, um, and, but this is always only a trigger point if um, you have no solution for you right now how you overcome this and how you can change this. So it's just like another thing like, okay, what I can change uh, or what I have to change in the process that this is not triggering me anymore. Yeah, and one one of the examples because I I just used the calculator, and if you if you calculate it um, in minutes, you basically twenty four hours times sixty minutes, you have one thousand four hundred and forty minutes <laughs> um, per day. So um, if like if you made a bad investment, right, and you would have one thousand four hundred and forty dollar, and you invested five dollar, and you lost the five dollar. Would you throw away the other fourteen hundred uh, four hundred and thirty five dollars? Probably not, right? You would just keep that amount and say it's like, so what? I lost five dollars and I keep the rest. Uh, am I happy about the loss of five dollars? Maybe not, but you don't throw like away all of the uh, all of the rest of your money because it's insane. But with time, we do that because we tend to put no value on time, where actually time is the most valuable thing that, that we as humans possess. Because we have a limited time on Earth. Some of us, they get very old, so they have longer. Some of us, they, have, they, they, um, they die younger, so they have very few time on, on to enjoy their life, to like have friends fall in love like have kids and all of this and when it's like this is like what i'm trying to remind myself on when i'm when i'm then mad and when i'm thinking about like things that shouldn't have happened could what and i'm i'm trying to be the same as like what jennifer said is like what could i have done differently how could we have prevented that and like you you try to get through all of the steps and usually Usually you know what you could have done differently that would have <laughs> prevented that situation. You know. 
It's just a matter of if you are honest to yourself and say, okay, I know I just effed this up and <laughs> I should have, yeah, I'm, I'm beeping myself out um, and I should have just done it and that would have taken care of it. But instead of this, I did something else or I, I did nothing or wh whatever. Um, and I just, it just led to the path where we are right now. So you have to deal with that. And I think in the US they have a pretty good saying um, we use a lot of the time. They say as if somebody is worried about something, they say, okay, let's cross that bridge when we get there. And if you think about it, that's really it. It's like if you, if you have a problem, which is basically the bridge, deal with the problem when you have it. Yes, you should make sure that the next time when you uh, when you are going down that route that like you do things differently in order not to have the same problem over and over and over and over again um, because then it becomes systemic um, but you also have to um, have to be uh, have to be reasonable because you only have 24 hours every day and you cannot prevent all of the things from happening especially if you if you are trying to go very fast on on building businesses, if you are over your heads in different projects, things will just fall down. It's just a reality because you are basically trying to juggle ten balls while confidently you maybe are able to juggle four, and you take you take a chance on saying, okay, the right four, I will be able to keep them up in the air. And the other ones, they will just drop down and they are, they are casualties along the way. And it's also good to, uh, to have a, a life partner um, that basically reminds you on that rule. Because the issue for all of us is if we are very good at seeing that at somebody else and we are very bad at recognizing that our own. It takes a lot of training and strength and practice to realize that you say wait a minute it's like how long am I dealing with that right now how long am I upset about this am I still upset about that an, an hour ago why why haven't I let go made a plan come back dealt with it differently so um, it's it, it's it's this is not an easy topic also to to talk about and there is no one i i would love like to to um to wave my my magic wand and say it's like okay now you are all able to follow the five minute rule and uh hocus pocus no problem uh you will be mad for five minutes and on the second after five minutes you will be happy it's not gonna be like that what you say, like, uh, I know uh, it's not really easy for you right now, but what you say, like, since you are more aware of how you make decisions and that you are fully responsible for your life, it's easier to follow the five minute rules? No. <laughs> no? No, no. It's easier, um, it's easier to, uh, uh, it's not easy, for me, it's not easier to follow the five minute rule. It's easier to accept that I'm the only one to blame. Um, it's like I, I know I caused it. I don't blame anybody else. I, I don't blame like partners. I don't blame institutions. I don't blame the market. Um, what, whatever. It's not their fault. It's my fault. But um, it doesn't make it easier to accept the fault. But what I have to say as well is uh, like depending on what the situation is as well and if it's like um, if, if you make this decision and uh, if you are really aware of the process and have a really tight controlling um, about decisions, especially if you work with clients, for example, or if you're responsible for partners, uh, for employees and all the things like that, you have to have a really high frequency of controlling um, and make sure that um, you, are, um, you are really aware of the decisions what you make and um, that it's well founded and that um, because at least that helps me um, that I'm really like have a highly frequent controlling 
process, I would say, or system, like doesn't matter what you want to call, how you want to call it. And um, that I know really exactly like um, what kinds of decision um, I made. So it's not really like the, the five minute rule is not really like if I make the mistakes, like you already, like you, you put everything on, on your shoulders right now. But for me is as well, like if something happened that I could not see before, or like this is not, uh, this is something maybe I, I was not aware that I made this kind of decisions, um, what has, has an effect on me right now, or like if I would, like, I don't want to say it happened to me because everything be happens because of you. Um, but, um, like, something, what is happening with, like, an indirect, what has an indirect um, effect. Uh, effect, yeah. Like, what I could not see, like, maybe years later or months later, you could not really see and... Um, and has your class ball what what can happen what are the consequences out of this this is bothering a little bit more to be honest than something what i really make well-founded decisions by myself and um things i'm fully responsible for like i know i'm fully responsible for whole uh, my whole life but um sometimes there are like you know there are people involved <laughs> in your life and they have they, they make their own decisions as well so um this is way more difficult for me to accept and to follow the five minute rules than if I made decisions which are not um, which are not going through like I want to have it. This is, this is interesting because um, for me it's rather the opposite. I mean, I mean if, uh, if, if there is something that we made a decision like or I made a decision um, like five years ago or whatever and now I, I get hit by that I'm I'm not at all bothered about like what decision I made five years ago, and it's for me that doesn't that doesn't really affect me mentally at all. I'm thinking of it, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, but it's more the things that um, I know I could have done like better in order to manage it better, or. Um, I could have worked more, um, deferred different things, um, and I'm questioning myself if I had made the right priorities, should I have had different priorities, um, and what, what would have happened if I would have had the different priorities, because that means that, yes, th I would have prevented that fire, but then we would have probably had another fire, um, because I wouldn't have done something else of course and um, so it's like I'm just playing this what if game even though I know it's like totally irrelevant because you can't go back in time and change your <laughs> uh, it's not like uh, not not like um, like a computer game where you hit save and then you try it out how to um, how to win against like the the end opponent of the level and well it didn't work okay let's go back to the save game and try a different route right life is life you <laughs> you cannot hit the rewind button and say well well maybe that wasn't really a good decision let's go back three months and make the other one and see about the outcome right that what that's what makes life fun <laughs> but sometimes that's what makes life like, really interesting <laughs> because especially when you when you are in business and you deal with people it's like what you said is people make their own decisions of course they are people and even though if um, if we're getting better on like sitting there and saying like okay if we make this decision what could that person do one two three four five um, and what would we do is like basically playing like a little bit like chess where you are like okay if I make this move what's the counter move if you are in a negotiation for example but also if I make that move what is the effect in my in my partner network because also your partners will resonate towards the move you are making and they will they will like it or they will not like it um, they will love it they will hate it whatever you are making you are able to manage like to foresee their emotions and try to manage these emotions as well uh, 
really reflected, I would say today, <laughs> like how, yep. we, how we do, how we continue with the stuff. Um, and it's still, as you can hear, it's still like we don't Work have in progress. this. Yeah, it's it's still in progress. It's um, and I think it's. Um, well, you have to you have to continue to work on it and um, to really like you. You said one thing before, like you know, time is too short. Not be happy. Yeah. And um, this is one thing, and we really learned to shorten this time where we are angry about ourselves or about others, um, and just be happy and move on. And uh, what what we what helps us is as well that we are focusing on the things we want and this is something i can um um i can recommend you as well like focus on the things you want and doesn't matter like um if you are mad or what uh, whatever like do a task or something what brings you out of this emotion um working on your goals it does not have to be the most important go uh, task for this day uh, but it has to be Something what fun. yeah, something fun what brings you uh, back on track again, and uh, like just keep practicing and uh, try to make the right things. And um, what uh, another thing as well what helping me is always talk about it. So we we discuss the yeah. things we are talking about it. Don't try to make the things up with yourself. Like Jan Mark says yes, but actually he is not the one who talking with me about his stuff. Um, he is <laughs> always trying to make the things with himself and um, just talk about uh, with another person uh, about that and find a solution together. And with that, um, you're like always invited to, um, yeah, to let us know your thoughts, to send us your questions at mail at legacybuildersglobal.com. And we are more than happy to um, read your feedback and um, or like to help you with um, with your current uh, status of this uh, situation and um, and answer your questions yes and don't waste more than five minutes exactly be happy don't worry be happy <laughs> <laughs> great <song. laughs> have a great time and see you next week bye see you guys bye do you want to get paid introducing legacy builders global where everybody gets paid we don't create investors. We create legacy builders. Legacy Builders Global. Visit us at www.legacybuildersglobal.com.